Would you like to have breakfast with our Lord? Learn to become docile and obedient to His grace and to His commandments. Salve Maria. In today's Gospel, presented to us by St. John, chapter 21, verses 1 to 14, we see our Lord appear for the third time to the Apostles after His resurrection. Today's Gospel presents us the beautiful and lovely scene of the Apostles being reunited with our, with our risen Lord who invites them to breakfast. The Apostles are fishing. It's at night and they've been fishing all night, unsuccessfully. They become successful in fishing when in the morning they obey our Lord when from the shore He cries out to them, telling them, to cast your net over the right side of the boat and you will find something. The apostles catch so many fish that they're not able to pull that net into the boat. Once on the shore, our Lord commands St. Peter to bring him some of those fish that St. Peter has just caught. So St. Peter goes to the shore and he starts to pull. He starts to drag that net onto the shore and he finds in the net 153 large fish and the net does not break. These two miracles, the fact that they catch such a large amount of fish and the fact, fact that the net does not break under the weight of so many fish are a fruit of the docility and of the obedience of the, of the apostles to our Lord's command, to our Lord's inspirations. We may not always understand or even want to do God's will, but if we are faithful, if we are docile, if we are obedient to His inspirations, to His commandments, He will always make us become successful. Don Lucilia, the mother of Dottoplinio, our first founder, she taught her son to be obedient by first teaching him to love the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Love generates humility. Humility generates submission and obedience. So let's, last, so let's ask Our Lady today to teach us to always grow in love, to always grow in enthusiasm for our Lord, for Our Lady, and our Lord will help us become humble and He will help us and give us the strength to become obedient. And this will allow us to always be able to participate in our Lord's celestial breakfast. And may our Lord and Our Lady always bless you and your family in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria.